All right, so this is the first question of module one. It's gonna be easy and it is easy. So just, you know, you're not probably gonna get this wrong, but I'm gonna drag this out so that it gets to over a minute and doesn't become a YouTube short. But in doing so, I'm also gonna show you what you're supposed to do for questions like this when they get harder and are later in the section. We wanna make sure that we set up our proportion correctly. So we should have units on two sets of fractions. A certain bird species can fly in an average speed of 16 meters per second, right? So that's, that's actually two things, right? That's two numbers in one if we're doing it kind of the more formal way, right? So 16 meters per one second uh, when in continuous flight. Okay, at this rate, how many meters would this bird fly in four seconds? So this is why it's better to think of a rate of speed as two things because sometimes we need to compare it to a situation where we increase, let's say, the number of seconds in this case, um, and now we do have two units, right? So four seconds is our uh, new kind of time, and so we're looking for how many meters that would be. So many of you probably already know, you're just gonna multiply 16 times four, that is gonna get you the answer, but here we have the setup that kind of proves that. We would now have to cross multiply, four times 16 is 64, and that is equal to x times one, which is x. So that's that. So hopefully no real issues here. Nobody's watching this video because they got it wrong, but they are going to make these unit conversion questions harder. And I do recommend having some sort of system in place so that when they do get harder, you don't make a mistake because what they could have done here is they easily could have put like choice E as four. And you know, in this case, I don't think it would be that tempting, but I do think in certain cases, some of you are going to divide when you're supposed to be multiplying. So just setting up the proportion like this keeps it safe, keeps it secure, uh, so you don't lose those points. But also just remember that when you are given a rate, something like miles per hour, meters per second, whatever it is, you can always turn that into a fraction of two numbers because the bottom number per second, per hour, that's one, one hour, one second. So you can always do that to make sure that this setup is consistent. Hopefully, that was a very thorough review of a very simple concept.